Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my CryEngine 3 tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the very basics of creating a level uh, using the CryEngine 3 free version, which is freely available for non-commercial use. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to go to File, New, and Tutorial Name, I'm just going to call it Tutorial Series and leave the height map res resolution at 1024 by 1024 and meters per unit at default 2. You can adjust this if you'd like. Obviously if you up this to 32 and change this you'd have a fairly sizable piece of terrain. At 262,144 by 260,144 which would probably not really work all that well. but. Anyhow, we're just going to have our lovely tiny terrain at 2048 by 2048. We're going to hit OK. And we will give it just a little bit to generate it. And you can see it down here, little progress bar. OK, our world is freshly generated. Now to move about inside of the editor, it's pretty standard and common and follows pretty much all of the standards that every other editor follows. Uh, right mouse holding allows you to move the camera about. WASAD allows you to obviously move the camera. And if you hold shift, you will essentially sprint, which will be much faster. Alright, down here you can adjust the camera speed, and it has a few presets like 10, which is really, really fast. Or you can manually assign it to, say, 5. We're going to leave it at 1. Okay, so uh, one more thing, uh, you can adjust the config spec up here, which is obviously the quality in the editor. Um, I do actually have a DirectX 11 card, however I'm unsure if this current version actually has everything for 10 and 11 support. Um, it may, and I may just have accidentally or haven't set it right yet. Um, However, for now, it's set to DirectX 9 on high, and I'm using the 64-bit editor, as you can see here. If you have 64-bit support, it's recommended to use it, because eventually, on some of the bigger levels, it will start eating up a massive amount of memory. All right, so let's, uh, let's do the first bit, and that is create our terrain. So we want to go to Terrain, Edit ter the sorry, Edit Terrain. Now, there are two ways you can do this. Obviously, as you can see, you can use the tool and you can see over there that I am flattening the train to X height. Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And you can also raise and lower. I need to adjust this. See, let me jump the height a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's close out of this real quick just see what it looks like. Mm, not not very pretty. It's kind of nasty and ugly. Um, so let's go back to our edit terrain and let's clear it. Now, you can do this uh, one of two ways. You can go to this in the roll up bar, the second tab, and you can modify the terrain manually in the 3D viewport if you'd like. Control Z to undo. However, um, for this simple tutorial, we're going to also cover the generate terrain option. Now this is the feature size of the features. Bumpiness slash noise. Uh, this determines like the obviously the bumpy and noise of the height map that it generates. This is the number of detail passes. The variation adjusts the noise obviously randomly. Blurring. This will blur the noise. So I'm going to actually up this to two. Cover is depreciated, so don't use it. Never use depreciated stuff. And the sharpness, exponent, and frequency. And I'm just leave those default. I'm going to hit OK. And then we'll wait, and then close out of this, and then naturally we will go up a little ways. And as you can see, we have a fairly smooth mountainous terrain.
Okay. Now next we would want to generate our surface texture and note if when you create a new uh, map if it's completely black and I should have covered this uh, but obviously it was black for me so I wasn't thinking at the time um, you just want to go to file generate surface texture then when you get this I'm gonna do a high quality bake and I'm just gonna leave it at 4096 then okay uh, this will actually generate the surface texture and then you'll be able to see the water and the terrain texture below uh, depending on the resolution and the options you check, it can take quite a while to generate. Okay, now you see we have a brand new texture on here, which obviously hasn't changed. However, this is the ending of this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to remake and create a base island in which all the tutorials will uh, branch off from. Um, which means obviously we'll be getting rid of this lovely mountainous terrain. And we will also cover adding new textures and painting. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, check the description. If you have any questions, visit the official website, um, which is CryMod, but I think it's crydevnow.net. And follow me on Twitter if you would like to keep up to date when the new tutorials are coming out or if you'd just like to say hello or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you.